Hi, how are you? I'm doing well. Um, what's your name? Claire. Okay, um, and that's the name you want to go by throughout the whole sessions? Yeah, that's okay. Awesome. Well, my name's Katie. I am a therapist here, and my role today is just to help guide you through whatever problems you're going through, and I'm here to support you and give you advice and just be there for you. Um, and your role here is just to be yourself and be able to talk to me with whatever problems you've come in with today, okay? Sounds good. Um, and you may notice me writing stuff down, but um, that's just for me. It's for nobody else to see. It's just for me to write things down throughout the session, okay? Sounds and good. Are you okay with that? Yes. Okay, awesome. Um, so there's a form that I have every client sign. Um, it's called confidentiality. Mm -hmm. um, and all that is, is just um, that things that are said in between me and you are kept confidential. Now there is an exception to this. So if you were to talk about harming yourself or harming others, like the disabled, the elderly or children, I would have to report that. And okay. um, just for your safety and others. Does that make sense? Do you have any questions? Absolutely. About that? Okay. So in each session, we'll do what is called setting the agenda. This is the time when I go over the structure of each session so that we know what to expect. At the end, I will ask you if there's anything you want to add to the agenda. Does that sound okay to you? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> so I will check on how you've been doing or feeling since the last session and do a mood check. Um, mm -hmm. During our session, we will identify what you want to work on and set some specific goals. Um, I will also share some information with you about the cognitive model of treatment. We call this okay. CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy. Um, as we work on the problem that you're seeking treatment for, we will come up with some helpful things to do before we meet again. And we call this homework, which I know is a little skeptical, but I promise you it, it'll be okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so, and then at the end of the session, we'll summarize what's been important things we talked about and just some feedback. Is there anything you would like to add to what we what I just said? Nope, that sounds good. Awesome. Um, so I just want to ask, what are your expectations for this session to look like? Um, I guess I don't really have any specific exceptions about what sessions will look like. I just want to feel better. Okay. All right. Well, that's what we're here for. <laughs> so sounds good. So let's start with what I said earlier, a mood check. So okay. what is your problem you came in here for today? Um, I guess I would best describe it as anxiety. I'm having a lot of issues with um, just keeping my cool um, in the face of not too great grades or really heavy assignments. I just, I would really like to be able to cope differently or cope better or cope at all really okay so can you tell me in a sentence or two how you felt over the last week um my anxiety has been very high because I have so many things due for school the it, the semester is about to end and there's just so much on my plate. I feel like I can't handle it. Okay. Um, so we're talking about anxiety and stress with school and how it's coming to a close. So let me ask you this other thing. When you think back over this last week, on a scale of zero to 10, where zero being no stress or anxiety and 10 being the most stressed or most anxiety, how has your stress and anxiety been for the most of last week? in the last week because of some, the semester ending and everything being due, probably a nine. Okay. Wow. That's pretty high. <laughs> yes. Um, and we'll dive a little bit deeper into throughout our sessions to see how we can bring that nine back to maybe lower, lower numbers. <laughs> so, okay. Sounds good. So I want to talk briefly about the issue that brought you in for help today. So talk to me more about school and anxiety and stress. What has been some main issues going on? Um, 
I've always been a straight A student. Um, I get B's sometimes and they make me very unhappy. I know that it's unrealistic to hope to get A's all the time, but in the past that that unrealistic has been realistic for me. Um, I work really, really hard on all of my assignments and I know that I can get a few B's and C's and stuff on assignments, but it'll all even out to an A in the end. But right now at the end of the semester, I'm just, I'm having a really hard time because I'm putting in so much effort and not seeing the grades that I want returned. Okay. Well, it sounds like you got a lot on your plate right now, for sure. Yeah. Um, so, so the question I really want to get into as we start your goals and seeing what your goals are really about, how would you know that the time you spent in therapy was successful? Um, I guess seeing those little things or stuff like getting a B, I would like for that to not mean so much to me. And I'd like to not like flip out if I see a B on like in my grades. Um, I just want to get to the point where I can feel okay about my grades and about school because right now I don't. Okay. Well, that's great that you've talked to me about this, because now that I know what you brought with you today, I will be able to help with coping mechanisms that could guide you throughout your school years. Um, great. So I just want to educate you on CBT since this are, is our first session. Um, CBT is the most common type of therapy in the world. Its principles are the following, what you think, what you feel, and what you do affect and interact with each other. Um, for example, I made an example for others who might not know more about this. Ian is at a party. We have a guy named Ian. He's at a party. Ian might be alone. Ian's friends are in a group away from him, and he starts thinking, nobody likes me. Now, that's an automatic thought. That's something we have immediately when something happens. As soon as he thought that, he might start feeling some emotion, maybe even feeling sad. As he feels his emotion, he starts to isolate himself or maybe in a corner or sitting alone on his phone. Um, but then in the end, he again feels nobody likes him. And now he thinks he's useless. The key in CBT is that our thoughts are an interpretation of reality. Those thoughts are like glasses that let you see the world in one way or another. So by changing our thoughts and behaviors, we can change the way we see the world and the way we feel. Does that sound good to you? Do you have any questions about that? No, your example helped a lot. It makes a lot of sense. Awesome. Well, so let's talk about some homework. Now, I know we discussed, you know, homework isn't the most great thing, especially since you came today about school and anxiety. But this homework I'm giving you, we will work on together. It will have you put some info in and I will give you advice about it. So okay. this week, I think maybe this week, since we talked about anxiety, would you like to, I would say, let's do a journal. So I'm going to give you a week to write any time during this week of any time you feel anxious. So if you have an event that's going on or an assignment, just jot down real quick there or maybe later about what you're feeling and the thought you had about it. Is that seem okay to you? Yeah, it makes a lot of sense because of the example that you used. I think I could do that. Okay, awesome. Well, okay, so then let's say two or three times this next week, you could do that? I can aim for two or three if I only do one. Is that okay? Oh yeah, that's perfectly fine. I just want to show you how writing things down can become better for you and how it could show you what some things are automatic thoughts and your feelings. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let me summarize what we did today. We talked about your, our agenda that we're doing. So the mood check, the, you know, um, just the homework and the mood check and things like that, your goals. Um, I think what you came in today is something that a lot of students have issues with. And I'm glad you came in as soon as you could, because I mean, now that we're able to discuss this, we can find many ways to help you. Um, 
And if you ever want to add anything else, please free do to do so because that just adds more ways that you can get help, okay? Okay. So ending the session, how do you think the session went today? I think it went really well. I feel hopeful for the first time in a really long time. I'm glad, I'm glad. Was there anything that particularly helped to you? Was that was particularly helpful to you? <laughs> um, I think that the explanation of CBT really helped. I don't think I would have understood it without the example. Um, yeah, that was just super helpful. Thank you. Yeah. Was there anything that bothered you during our session? No, it went really well. Okay. <clears throat> Is there anything you'd like me to do differently? No, I think you did a great job and yeah, feeling hopeful. It, it's a great feeling. And is there anything I got wrong about what you shared? No, I don't think so. Awesome. Well, Claire, I'm glad you came in today and I'm glad that this is the start of a new process for you. And I'm hoping that through our sessions that you can overcome this issue and that we can find ways to help you more. Does that sound good to you? <laughs> sound perfect. All right. Well, thank you, Claire, for coming in. And I um, hope that we will see each other in the future. All right. Sounds good. All right. Bye.